In this video, I'm going to make a cell phone stand for my uh, iPhone 6S. So I'm going to go to Google and type in iPhone 6S dimensions. And I could get those right from Google. So I have a 138.3, 67.1, um, 7.1 millimeters thick. So let's go. Let's use that um, 138.3 to make this and our 67.1. So let's go back to Fusion, start a sketch, XY plane, and uh, let's make this kind of a, um, a front stopper with a slant and then a backside. So I'm going to use a rectangle, and I'm just going to draw a front stopper, kind of like that. And then I'm going to draw a slant, so let's use lines, and this is going to be a slant from here. And we could angle this at 45 degrees, which would be 135. And then I could do a offset from that line, and I could offset it to come this way. Hit OK. So I have another line there. And then I could draw down from this. So I'm going to just going to draw a line going straight down. Draw a line going left. Draw a line going up. And then connect my lines. Um, so now I'm going to use some constraints to kind of clean all this up. So let's start out by making this line vertical. So I could click that line and I could come over here. This is our sketch palette. This is kind of like our tool panel. And I could use a, um, where are we? I could use a horizontal vertical constraint and that'll make it horizontal. Now I could uh, trim any excess. So let's go into our sketch panel, go to trim and I could click these lines that are going to get in my way and now I could start dimensioning stuff so I could hit escape to get off the trim command and hit D to get into the dimension command and start dimensioning um, so I know that I want this line to be fairly large so let's make this line right now it's three inches so let's say I want this to be half the height of the phone, or let's go three fourths. So uh, we did this in millimeters, but um, half of inches, the height of it is 5.44 inches. So half of that would be around 2.72, 2. Point, sorry, 2, 2.5 plus 0.22. So 2.72, yeah, that's correct, 2.72. And then let's adjust this dimension. Oh, that's not the dimension I want. Let's adjust this dimension to look like it's going to be the front of that. So uh, let's go 0.3 in the front. And then um, we could get rid of this thickness that's here. So I could dimension line to line here. And then I can make that 0.5 thick. That's going to start moving this stuff. So I'm going to um, dimension 0.2 circle and let's make that um, I'm gonna go negative so it goes the opposite direction because it kind of moved up actually instead of uh, screwing with that let's take the dimension off and let's move that point down oh, if it lets me let me see yep there you go so now I could see that we're kind of constrained where this is uh, moving my lines up and down together so let's see what we could do about moving this backside in. So I'm just going to click and drag this backside until it's all the way in here. Um, I like to use dimensions in order to kind of estimate what I want to uh, use, what I want to see it as. But if you rough sketch something, let me just delete all these dimensions off of here to show you um, kind of how this would work. If you rough sketch something, say I just sketched this, I said, hey, I kind of want this in more. As long as all of your points on your lines are connected, 
then I should be able to click and drag any of these lines and kind of adjust it to what I want it to be. So I could adjust this in, I could adjust that out, um, however I want to do it. And then once I get to what I want, I could extrude this or um, I could start putting dimensions on it to really figure out where I want to be. So now I'm kind of at, I, I had my dimensions on here, so I kind of know I'm okay. So I'm going to extrude this and I'm going to bring this up. And uh, this is for the height of my phone, but I'm going to do half of, um, I'm actually going to do the entire length of this base. So I could have a good stand if I were um, on this base or if I were on um, if, I, if I was watching Netflix on this or something along those lines. So I know the base is 2.64. So I'm actually going to extrude it that exact 2.64 and I'm going to add uh, probably 0.2 to it just to uh, add a little length to it. So 2.84, I'm going to extrude that, hit OK. And now I could go home and kind of look at it. I could uh, use my corners to kind of flip it around, uh, give me a good idea of what it's going to look like when I 3D print it. Um, one of the things that I noticed that I think would help is uh, making this inner edge inside of here. Probably make this, sorry, make, let's go here. What is the best way to look at that edge? Um, it's not really letting me look at, I'm trying to get to this inside edge in here. Um, I'm going to hold shift, use my mouse wheel to rotate this to get inside there. So in here, I kind of want to fill it this. So I'm just going to right click that uh, part inside there and I'm going to do a press pull. And that's automatically going to detect I want to fill it. it. I'm just going to kind of uh, use my mouse here. This is more of an estimation to get a curve inside there. I think a curve would look nice. Um, so I'm going to curve it and then that'll probably be also good for the phone sitting in there. Curve that a little bit. And then um, now that I look at it, I kind of want to curve on this edge too. So if I already have that fillet that I want in there and I want to curve this edge too, I want to be consistent. So I'm going to right click. I'm going to hit edit feature to go back into my fillet command. And then I could go select my other edge. I'm going to hit home. So it brings us back to this side. I'll hold shift and hold my mouse wheel again to rotate. Now, if I want to select another edge, I'm having some problems here where it won't let me select it. If I hold control, now I'm holding control on my keyboard and it'll let me select any edge. So make sure if you come in and edit a feature or if it won't let you select something, that's because you're probably not holding control on it. Um, now that I have that, I could um, hit OK. And now this is ready to 3D print. So now I'm going to go to make 3D print select my object and then I'm going to hit OK and save this as an STL file and this is going to be a phone let's do iPhone 6s stand and hit save. Now that did save it as a 3D printable file but that didn't save it inside of um, inside my cloud so I'm going to hit the save disk up here also and then I'm going to name this iPhone 6s stand also inside my cloud and hit save. So now that I named that up here, this is version zero because it's the first version we made and now we could 3D print it. Um, one of the things you could add on to this, if you were looking um, where your phone would sit, you could also put some lettering or a logo on the front here. Uh, that would be cool. Or maybe uh, take a design and cut it through the background back here. Uh, start a sketch here and just maybe put some holes in here to make it look cool. Maybe put some holes through the front. Um, there's a lot of different things you could do with this to make it unique and make it your own. Um, don't just go off this general design because um, although it is functional, it's not it's not necessarily uh, specific to you. So I want you guys to all feel like you've made something specific to your genre, your type of person. Um, if you want to put ACDC because rock and roll rocks, that'd be awesome too.